Hey streamers, thanks for tuning back into our YouTube channel with another video from WP Stream. So in this video, I'll be running you through how you can broadcast a live event with OBS Studio and WP Stream on your WordPress website. And you will also be able to find out how to record your live stream while it's happening on both your OBS Studio and WP Stream. So let's run you through OBS Studio, which is a free pro tool that you can broadcast live events on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and of course your WordPress website, which is what we're all here for. And before you continue, you will have to go on their website and download the broadcaster on either Windows, on your Mac, if you have a Mac, of course, or on Linux. And as you can see, there are instructions and multiple download links that you can choose from. So make sure you install that on your PC and let's get started. So this is how OBS Studio looks like. As you can see, you can start recording and you can also start streaming, but I will show you more about that later. Let's first set up WP Stream. So go to your WordPress admin and to plugins, and you will have to make sure you have WP Stream installed and also activated on your WordPress. So WP Stream is used for video streaming and you can also create video on demand through the recordings and you can also monetize all your live videos or your on demand videos. Now let's go to WP Stream credentials. Here you can either sign in if you already have an account or click here if you want to register with a new one. And of course, you know how to create a new account. So just add all your details, a password and register. Once registered, it will take you to your WP stream dashboard where you'll find your free trial package. And you can also confirm your email address for an extra five gigabytes of streaming data. So don't forget to do that. Now let's go back, enter our details with our newly created account and connect to WP Stream. So here we are connected and now we're ready to get started by creating a channel. So here you can create a free channel or a pay-per-view channel. If you want to find out how to create a pay-per-view channel, make sure you check out one of our other videos, but let's get started with a free channel. You can add your title, any images, tags, categories, and publish your channel once you're happy with the results. Once you have published it, this will show up so you can either start a live event. But before that, I recommend going to settings. And because we want to create a on demand video, I will also click on record live stream. And this is how you record a live stream from WP stream and then start your live event. Once it has loaded, you will click on go live with external broadcaster. And of course, the external broadcaster in question is OBS Studio. So let's go to OBS Studio and click on settings, stream. And here you will enter a server and a stream key. So copy the server and stream key from WP Stream into OBS Studio and then click on OK. Now you can start streaming and start recording. The button is right. The buttons aren't right next to each other. And once you've done that, click on view channel and you will be taken straight to your broadcast where it is playing like so. So you'll find your viewer count over there as well. And here it is streaming from OBS to your website. You can go full screen and enjoy the full screen experience, of course. And you can also go picture in picture where you can move the screen around. And the great thing is that you can also go through different uh, pages and the broadcast will still be visible. And yeah, once you are happy with your broadcast, you can click on stop streaming and stop recording as well. And if you go back, you'll see that your live stream would have ended and the following message will appear. And that's how you know your broadcast is over. Now let's go to WP Stream Media Management, and this is where your live stream would have been recorded. So this is where your video file is. 
So the video file that was saved from WP Stream is right under video management. You can create a free VOD or a pay-per-view VOD from this, but I will want to choose a file and I will find it from OBS file and show recordings. Here's my video, I'll drag it and as you can see right on top it says that the file is not accepted because of the video format and I'll have to convert it into a mp4 or a mov um, formatted video. So to do that just find any converter um, out there so you can either find a free or a paid one if you already have that's great and then convert the file and uploading it on WP Stream. So now the upload is complete and you will find the file right under video management once again. And here you can also create a free or pay-per-view VOD by clicking on each link. So I'll create the free VOD. Once again, I will add a title to name my on-demand video. I'll add an image. You can also add any tags, um, categories and publish your video when you're happy. Click on this permalink over here and here is your video on demand playing. So this is how it looks like. So the difference between a video on demand and a live stream is that with a video on demand you can skip forward, go back, you can play, pause, and the same thing or the similarities is of course you can go full screen or picture in picture. But of course, there is a difference between the two, but you will want both types of content to create the best website out there. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video where I showed you how to live stream and record your video with OBS Studio and WP Stream. Make sure you come back next week for more content. Bye.